Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I've got something exciting for you. I'm going to show you how to get a working version of Bad Parenting on your mobile device. This game has been getting a lot of buzz recently, and I know many of you have been asking if it's possible to play it on your phone. Well, good news, it is. And I'm going to walk you through the process step by step. Just take a look at my screen. You can see it running smoothly on my iPhone. And the best part is that it works just as well on Android devices too. Whether you're on iOS or Android, this method has got you covered. Before we dive into the steps, just make sure you watch the video all the way through and don't skip any parts, because missing even one step could cause issues. I want to make sure you get it right the first time so you can start playing right away without any problems. All right, with all that said, if you're ready, let's get started with the tutorial. Before you can use this method, there are some settings you need to change. These settings apply only for iOS devices. If you are on an Android device, you can skip this part and move on to the next step. Head into your settings, tap on General, and make sure that Background App Refresh is turned on, either for Wi-Fi or for both Wi-Fi and mobile data. This ensures the app can run smoothly in the background. Next, swing by your battery settings and switch off Low Power Mode. This feature can slow down your device, which we definitely don't want happening. With these two settings tweaked, you're all ready to move on to the next step. What you need to do next is open up your internet browser, in my case it's Safari, and go to the website called PluginElite.com. Plugin Elite is a website where you can find many apps with awesome features. Once you are on the website, search for Bad Parenting and click on it. To get started, simply click the download button and give it a moment to install. Depending on your internet connection, it might take a little bit, but once it's finished, you'll automatically be redirected to a page that says, Installation completed. At that point, the app will pop up on your home screen, and you're good to go. Now, if it's your first time using the site, there are a couple of extra steps to complete. But don't worry, it's super simple. You'll be directed to a website with a video tutorial that walks you through everything step by step. All you need to do is install a couple of apps from the App Store or Play Store, depending on your device. These apps are completely safe and secure, so there's nothing to stress about. Just follow the instructions, and you'll have no trouble at all. So, that's it guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.